Hello, my name is Elijah Wells, and today's review is the movie Demon Slayer The Mungan Train. The story is Tanjiro and his colleagues of Demon Slayers must, of course, uh, defeat a demon that's not really just hosting a human form, but hosts a, a whole train with 40 passengers missing as its vessel as a demon. Because, let's face it, a demon possessing a human body, too normal, about a whole train. Now you got me talking. Uh, and of course the movie does take place literally uh, when the final episode of the most recent first season uh, ended. And of course it, it, it goes on uh, to m largely hint about uh, the upcoming season of the Demon Slayer anime which whether or not it's going to come out on Netflix and so uh, sooner rather than later I, I may discuss it soon. Uh, the wider scope of this anime, it's bit, it, it deals with a lot of trauma, a lot, a, a, a lot of demon slain, of course, and a lot of uh, backstory that you need to really, really uh, get invested into if you really want to watch this movie. But I have spent like the last two weeks or so watching the anime on Netflix, and it is uh, the anime does have some amazing animation, some amazing character backstories, brilliant characters, and some a uh, great humor that occasionally goes here and there. Uh, and of course, the music in the anime, it's unbelievably epic. Like, it kind of uh, 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 reminds me a bit of Junkie XL's score from Mad Max Fury Road, since it kind of gives off this uh, kind of electronica epic vibe, it, it kind of just radiates off to me. Uh, the story of the anime is basically Tendro uh, uh, finds that his entire family gets massacred. And his sister survived, but she's turned into a demon. And uh, use, using as her sister as a companion, since she doesn't harm humans, uh, yet she's a compassionate demon. They go, uh, uh, he goes train as a, de a demon slayer, and of course slay the demons and uh, get revenge for all the people that massacred his family. Yeah, even though it, the story does sound grim, particularly the first episode, uh, but. What we'll to say, uh, by the time you get to the final episode, it's really worth it. Uh, my favourite characters, uh, not just uh, in this movie, but in the anime as well, include Inziku, who basically uh, is, is a half-naked uh, swordsman with a, a wild boar's head on top, uh, presumably for protection. And there's Inziku, who's basically what Shaggy is to uh, Scooby-Doo, who panics a lot and screams, and panics and usually bursts into tears but when the right time comes he unleashes uh, a god mode where he just what is say comes down like lightning or uh, if he blacks out from his panic attacks so a little bit awkward and there's all I've forgotten his name already because he was only in a couple episode but plays a major part of the movie is the one who uh, what to say comes in blazing fires and the character's name is the character being Kurdro uh, basically uh, in the opening fight scene he just literally set the entire scene ablaze with his amazing sword fighting skills and even the final fight scene uh, by the side of a tr by the side of a train wreckage it still is r uh, really epic since he his presence in the scene is unbelievable. And what I also like, uh, uh, also what translates well in, uh, from the anime series, is the animation. It's so crisp and so uh, brilliant and so uh, well done. And also the score work, like I said, really reminiscent of the electro uh, this epic uh, orchestra of electronica, something on the veins of Mad Max Fury Road by Junkie XL. Of course, and. The com and of course the comics release, uh, they of course have their times to shine. If I had to um, nitpick a movie, uh, uh, if I have to find at least something wrong with this movie, I can kind of name two things, but I think I can kind of sweep them under a rug. One of is the movie's pacing is a, a little too fast for my liking. It kind of feels, uh, kind of feels like I've watched like a whole bunch of episodes all at one go. It kind of uh, the pacing wise kind of comes off that vibe or I've just literally just watched a whole bunch of episodes and it kind of feels like that like 
the kind of the pacing of it. Uh, if you uh, the anime, uh, the anime, uh, the pacing, it it does. It's not really slow. It's not really fast. It's kind of just uh, uh, just uh, well, uh, just uh, satisfactory. And I think one other thing that I might nitpick is. I think uh, the movie does refer back to the anime, particularly very important moments that happened, like uh, not acknowledging that uh, the main character's little sister is a demon. Like, oh, we're not going to acknowledge it because there's like an entire episode uh, uh, where uh, his little sister becomes, we'll just say, a major problem to the demon slaying cord. And they refer back to uh, eat uh, certain uh, references uh, in particular episodes. So if you're gonna watch it and you have no knowledge of uh, Demon Slayer anime, uh, chances are you're just going to be a little bit lost and a little bit confused. But if you like me, just prepared myself, then you know the references. Okay, to be honest, the real reason uh, why I'm wa I'm watch this movie because it's not just the highest grossing anime of all time, the highest grossing film in Japan, but it's also the highest grossing R-rated animated movie, or the highest grossing adult animated movie ever made, and of course, the highest grossing film of the Doomsday Year of 2020. And it's also like the fourth highest grossing, uh, traditionally, hand-drawn animated movie. And to make things a little bit better, it became the highest grossing, uh, became the first uh, non-English non movie to go number one in North American box office and also had the biggest ever opening uh, for, I presume, an anime uh, or foreign film, but uh, definitely a, a box office record that's actually topped uh, the recent Mortal Kombat movie. So, what did I think of Demon Slayer the Mungan Train? I'd actually really like this movie. The visual effects are amazing, the animations are brilliant, the score's amazing, the action scenes blow you away, and the characters, uh, we'll just say, have their, mo uh, their, their moments, not just their moments, they have the scene. And uh, if you've uh, watched the anime, it really pays off, it really satisfies you. Uh, and it, it's not, it's also a, a brilliant uh, season finale, and it's also a brilliant teaser for season two. I'm feeling an 8 out of 10. And this is Elijah Wells, and let me know in the comments what you think of this movie. Like this video, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and this is Elijah Wells, and bye.